My name is Shishi Peltier. I work here at FMF Cape Scott. I'm an engineer. I help them make material decisions. Hi, I'm Matthew Barnett. I work at FMF Cape Scott in the production. I am a red seal tool and die maker. I'm working with the new laser additive manufacturing system. Like most navies, we have a supply issue. We're running older ships and commercially available materials are not readily available. Therefore, we need to find a way to repair and manufacture components for our warships that are no longer available. L'outil 3D que nous avons ici présentement à Cape Scott et pour lequel nous développons des nouvelles procédures est un outil qui est absolument fantastique et qui s'ajoute à un répertoire, un arsenal d'outils que nous avons pour maintenir les besoins opérationnels de la marine à un niveau très très élevé. Laser additive manufacturing, 3D printing has been around for a while. However, a lot of the research and development have been ongoing in the medical and aerospace industry, specifically in post-secondary institutions, as well as research and development laboratories. We're very proud to be able to have the first laser additive manufacturing system in a production facility in Canada. This gives us the capability of not only defect rectification, but also manufacturing obsolete pieces, thereby maintaining our vessels operational. Using lasers to repair components is a better choice than welding because we're using light energy and not large volumes of heat input. We're not distorting the original component. The laser additive manufacturing system is expanded the versatility of our machining services here. Um, we've uh, provided now with a technology that doesn't exist anywhere else on a, either a contract or a government basis. We can um, increase our manufacturing capabilities with this new type of additive machining versus the 75 plus subtractive type uh, machine equipments that we have in the machine shop presently. We are actually using this to repair issues that we were experiencing on a daily basis. This is the laser additive manufacturing system. We are using metallic powder at the size of approximately 45 micron. Over here we have our laser. Fiber optic cable brings the laser into our magic box. We have a motion system with five axes. We have a box here made out of plexiglass where we build or manufacture things in an argon atmosphere to reduce contamination and reduce oxidation. To have the ability to perform immediate defect rectification with said materials, the main goal of all of this is to keep our naval vessels operational. So what we did is we built some rigging and we put the Halifax capstan shaft into our machine and we increase the size of it by laser cladding it with the 4140 steel. This is a big chunk of material. You are not going to the metal stores and buying something like this. I can see in the future, maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 years from now, having this capability actually on our vessels. We have confidence that the item component that we've repaired meets the specification required for a naval warship. 